If you're having a problem as to the knob and shaft not locking into your headlight switch, here's a possible solution. Here we have a GM headlight switch. And the problem that some people have is that when they go to insert the knob and shaft assembly into the switch, that when they pull out the knob and shaft, it comes all the way out. It doesn't stay locked in. The technique to do this is to push the shaft all the way in as you're rotating and or wiggling up and down. You want to push this through the latch plate like that. Now if I pull out the headlight switch it stays locked in. Also what's good to do is that um, cycle the switch in and out a few times to disperse the grease inside the contacts. If you're having a problem with the knob and shaft not releasing from your headlight switch, here's a possible solution. Note that there is a spring-loaded shaft release button on the bottom of the switch. With the knob pushed all the way in, if I try to push the button in to release the shaft, I cannot release it. Consequently, with the switch pulled all the way out, two clicks, if I try to push the release button, it feels like it's not going to depress, nor can I pull the shaft out. This is because the spring-loaded button is not engaging the latch plate in the contact carrier, which will be explained later. The idea is that you'll want to have the switch pushed one click in from being pulled all the way out. Now press the spring-loaded button in and as you're pulling outward we'll rotate and maybe wiggle the shaft up and down to release the shaft. If you're having a problem with the shaft not locking or the shaft not releasing from the switch, let's go over what is actually going on inside the switch. But first, let's look at the knob and shaft itself. The shaft is triangular, not circular. It is triangular so that you are able to engage and rotate the drive sleeve or collar, which engages the light intensity rheostat. There is also a groove cut into the shaft. This groove is the part that should lock into the switch's latch plate to prevent the knob and shaft from pulling all the way out when you turn on your lights. Later in the video, you'll see why this triangular shape can prevent the shaft from locking into the switch. The end of the shaft is also pointed. This is so that the shaft can more easily slide into the small hole in the switch's latch plate, which will be described later. Now, let's open a common GM headlight switch to look inside. I have already pried open the four locking tangs. First, we'll remove the drive sleeve. This black square piece is the contact carrier that captures the two contact plates, which I am now removing, as well as a center spring-loaded plunger that presses down on the latch plate. Lifting the contact carrier, we can now see the metal latch plate. This is the part that permits the knob and shaft to lock into the switch. This brass plunger puts constant pressure onto the latch plate so that it's normally in the lock position. When the release button on the headlight switch is depressed, this plate will slide upward so that the knob and shaft can be removed. Removing the latch plate, you can see the oblong hole or opening. The round part is where the shaft gets inserted into. The pointed part of the opening is what locks into the groove on the shaft. 
With all of the switch's components removed, except for the base plate and latch plate, you can now see what's occurring inside the switch. The goal is to get the shaft through the oblong opening in the latch plate. To do this, and to prevent the edges of the triangular shaft from snagging on the hole in the latch plate, while pushing the knob and shaft inward, rotate the knob and shaft and or pivot it up and down. At that point, the spring-loaded latch plate should slide into the groove in the shaft, locking it in. To release the knob and shaft, pull or push the knob to the center or parking-like position. Depress the spring-loaded button on the bottom of the switch. Then, while pulling outward, rotate the knob and shaft and or pivot it up and down. This will set it free from the hole in the latch plate. We hope this video was helpful. If you need any electrical components for your car, please be sure to check out electriclimited.com. Thanks for watching.